Just off Biscayne on 79th Street lies one of Miami's hidden jewels, Marquis Gourmet Store. For 30 years, it has quietly grown into one of the largest retail wholesale sources for some of the world's finest foods. From Karat Ocetra Caviar to Hamon Iberico Beota, join me as we explore this gourmet paradise. I am so excited to share Marquis with our viewers. One of the things that you're most known for, certainly uh, I've always thought of this place more as Marquis Caviar than anything else, is the broad, incredible selection of caviar. That we have a very extensive selection of caviar ranging from the traditional sturgeon caviar uh, down to caviar alternatives, things like stromluga, which is used for cooking, and also a full line of sushi caviars. You find here the Russian Karat Ocetra Caviar. Uh, tell me what makes it so special. Well, first of all, um, it has to do with the species. It is authentic Russian Ocetra. The fish are growing in clean Galilee River water, which is constantly moving, which is something that's very important. Some people may have noticed, you know, that there are special caviar spoons available. Um, what is the purpose of a caviar spoon and what makes it special? The traditional way or the best way to, to serve it is using a mother of pearl spoon. This is made uh, from shells. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's important not to serve it on anything that could be metallic, uh, things like silver, for example, mm -hmm. because the salt begins to react with the silver exactly. and it starts changing the flavor. You get a metallic taste in your mouth. The word malasal, you know, we see it often printed on the labels of a variety of caviars. Explain the word to our viewers. Malasal is actually a Russian word, which means with little salt. True, authentic sturgeon caviar should melt in your mouth. It should have a buttery, uh, sometimes nutty flavor to it, and it should not be overly salty. This is the amber um, karat Russian Ocetra, so you notice it has a slight amber color to it. Mm -hmm. Almost has like um, little black dots on each one, yeah. which uh, adds unique texture to it. And I think the next step is the taste. <laughs> Just uh, uh, put it in your mouth I, I and allow you. it to melt. You could uh, push it up against the roof of your mouth if you like, and then let it melt mm -hmm. and, and enjoy. Amazing. With the taste of Ocetra still in my mind, it was time to look at the Hamon Iberico and what makes it so special. Number one, it comes from a very specific breed of pig, which is the Iberico pig. And those are the black-footed pigs. The right? black hoofs or yep. black-footed pigs are from the south of Spain. And really, it's the process in which the hand comes about. So it's not only the curing process, but in which uh, also the process in which they're raised. Now the word bayota means acorn. Yes. And that is part of that free range roaming uh, lifestyle that these pigs have in that part of Spain. During the fattening period, they actually feed exclusively on acorns. Uh, fat is good, uh, yes. because the fat in this particular ham uh, is uh, what really adds that, that silky, smooth uh, quality, that incredible uh, taste that is distinctive and unique to the Iberico. Absolutely, that is one of the, the marquee things of the Iberico ham. Now, do you have for our viewers any serving suggestions? We have actually heard from some of our, our patrons here that they've actually put a dollop of Ocetra caviar into a slice of Iberico ham, roll it up, and it's quite frankly the biggest taste sensation you're ever gonna have. Mmm. And now, for some chocolate. Here at Marquis, you are featuring uh, Leonidas. There's no preservatives in it. It's 100% cocoa butter. Um, we actually fry them in fresh every two weeks. What's different from fresh chocolates versus something you might find in a box that's been sitting on shelves for who knows how long? Uh, some element of preservative needs to be added and it affects the flavor. There's some oxidation. Can you walk me through what I'm seeing here? Sure, uh, we have an assortment here of different uh, chocolates uh, ranging from the uh, Gianduja. We have some dark chocolate with caramel. We also have uh, some milk chocolate assortments and pralines. I will uh, encourage you to taste uh, the Manon. And you call it Manon. Manon. This is white chocolate. And inside is a cafe latte cream. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I love this part. Wow. I love my job. I love my job. I spent more time at Marquis that day, wandering the aisles, admiring their selections of wines, and stopping for a taste of Hacienda Zorita from their vast selection of cheeses. So, what are you eating, Miami? <laughs>